when we introduced factors in the very first lesson of linear algebra, we saw that we need them to describe physical quantities like force and velocity. As you continue in physics, for example, when you start on quantum mechanics, you will notice that at a certain point, however, normal factors are not enough anymore to describe physics. We need to extend the concept of factors in Rn to be able to describe those features of nature. The normal factors are not enough anymore. In order to do that, we will need so-called factor spaces, which we'll introduce in this video. Even if you are not interested in quantum mechanics, which however influences a lot of engineering nowadays, those factor spaces can be very useful too. They allow us to perform all those nice tricks we have with factors like bases and distances with other objects like functions for example. Let us first see what we actually mean by this concept of a general vector space. In this video we will learn the basic properties, the axioms of a vector space. So what is a vector space V? Well, it's a set and the elements are called vectors, hence the name. However, not every set is a vector space. You also need to be able to perform two operations. You need to be able to add factors or addition, and you need to be able to multiply factors with a scalar, scalar multiplication. And furthermore, you will need to satisfy 10 properties. Well, I group that into three classes. Five properties have to do with the addition, two have to do with the scalar multiplication, and three have to do with how to work out brackets. So let's take a look at those properties, and we will specifically look at them for the normal vectors to see that they are satisfied for our normal vectors in R2. So let's take two normal vectors like u equals 1, 2, v equals 2, 3, whatever. And let us look at addition first. Well, we need that the vector space is closed on addition, means that the sum of two vectors has to be again a vector. Well, we can check that here, u plus v equals 3, 5, which is again a vector. So for factors on R2, this is satisfied. Let's commute stiff, so u plus v equals v plus u, we can check that. It uh, doesn't matter whether you first compute u plus v and then you add w, or whether you first compute v plus w and then you add u. We need a zero vector. So the special property if, if of a zero vector is that if you add a zero vector to another vector, this other vector remains unchanged. So here we have zero vector equals factor is two zeros in this case. And we need an additive inverse. That means that if you have a u, then there needs to be another factor, which we'll call minus u, such that u plus minus u yields a zero vector from point four. Well, we have a minus u here, of course, minus u is just minus 1, minus 2. And if you would add that to u, then you get the zero vector. So for our normal vectors, all those properties are satisfied. On to the scalar multiplication. Properties 6 and 10. We'll follow here the numbering convention of a book of pool, which we are using in our course currently. We need that uh, it's closed under scalar multiplication. So a scalar multiple of a factor has to be a factor again. So if we take, for example, c equals 2, then c times u equals to 4, which is, again, a factor. And we need to have that 1 times u is again u, doesn't change u. Well, that's obviously true for factors in Rn. On to the last three, the brackets. So if we have u plus v times scalar c, and it doesn't matter whether we first add u and v and then multiply by c, or first compute c times u and c times v and then add up. Something similar for c plus d times u. It doesn't matter whether we first add up c plus d and then compute c times u and, c and d times u and add them up. And similarly for the last one, c times d times u has to be equal to c times d times u. You'll see that all those three have to do with brackets there always work for factors in Rn. Now, of course, you'll wonder, 
that's a satisfied for factors in Rn. I know that, but are there any other vector spaces which make sense to introduce? Well, that will be the subject of many uh, following web lectures. <laughs>